the pirates are back. We've got some R, we've got some reporting services, and we're gonna sprinkle in a little bit of Power BI. That's all coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're gonna do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in the Cube. And we've got some things that spread on premises all the way to the cloud, so let's dig in. Okay, let's start with some R. I'm gonna do that every time I've got an R article on this. Just letting you know. Ginger Grant does a great job of walking through how to get started with our server with SQL Server 2016. She walks through some of the requirements and also does a code walkthrough of what this looks like on the server side. So if you've been curious about this, you wanna get started, R is kind of the next big thing, so be sure to check out this blog post to get you up and running and started with R. Next up is a community blog post from Ankit Patira where he looks at R script with Power BI Desktop. Before Ginger Grant had a look at SQL 2016, this time Ankit walks through how to actually set up and use R with Power BI Desktop. He goes through a whole bunch of stuff, including the setup, like I mentioned, as well as going through importing, merging, filtering, all sorts of options that may cause a roadblock for you, and he talks about how to overcome that. So if you're looking for R in Power BI, take a look at this and see how you can get started. Okay, enough of the pirates. Let's continue our journey with SQL 2016, and this time it's with reporting services. And Dustin Ryan gave a talk that he ended up capturing on what's new in reporting services 2016. So if you're not familiar with all the things that came with reporting services 2016, be sure to check this out. He's got a video that's in the blog post that you can watch, and he tries to answer some of the questions that you may have and really, it's just a great foundation to get up and running on what's in the new product. Okay, moving on, let's talk about another Power BI desktop item, and this time it's a survey. The product team wants your input on what you think should be the next direction for Power BI desktop. So if you're passionate about that, if you wanna give your feedback and help the product team and help shape the product itself, be sure to take this survey and there's even a prize in it for you. So there's gonna be a couple of winners for an Amazon $50 gift card, and so you may win that. There are details in this blog post. The survey ends on June 22nd at 5 p.m. Pacific. So be sure to jump in and give your thoughts. All right, time for my personal favorite, and that is the Notification Center. I don't know how many times I've signed into Power BI where I just get flooded with toast notifications that someone shared a dashboard with me. I subscribe to a content pack internally and there's a ton of dashboards inside of it and I get about 20 toast notifications at a time saying that there's updated dashboards or new dashboards and it was a little annoying. The notification center solves that and I love it. So the notification center now is a, cent is a spot where you can go and see all of those items that may have been new for you, but they're not gonna get in the way. I think this is a great job. There's gonna be updates to this as we go forward, and Amanda talks about some of that in this blog post. So if you're curious about how it works and what's in there and what's coming, be sure to check out this blog post. She also makes a comment that alerting will be coming down the road, so stay tuned on that. All right, time to let me know which one is your favorite. Go ahead and leave that in the poll up above, or you can leave that down in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more videos like this or other topics, go to my website, guyinacube.com, or subscribe to this YouTube channel. Every Thursday, I do an information roundup just like this, where I find items that were interesting to me and share that out with you. And every Tuesday, I take a look at a technical item where I either look at how something works, a new feature, or how to troubleshoot something. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.